at our favorite day place, Makan at Eliseus. Husband. Hi, it's for my vlog. Hi, this is Alex. We like it here because they change their menu from time to time. So, marami mga interesting dishes. And I'd say, well, if you're here in LA, to have a uh, medyo fine dining dish, food tasting menu, I prefer. We'll be dining on the deck here overlooking the waves. For starters, we have tuna ceviche or tuna kinilaw. With sweet potato mash, vegetable okoy, because the husband loves vegetables, and because it's crunchy. Mickey got steak silo. And wild rice with egg and kimchi. I got lamb shank curry with a grilled coconut rice. Yum! We believe that God blessed us so that we can be a channel of blessings to others. We made this channel so we can bless other people. So there's baking, there's cooking, there's working there's out, there are dogs, our adventures, our travels. Hi, I'm Mickey. I'm Bettina. And I'm Gummy. And this is A, a Blessing, blessing Channel. channel. We are six months today, and for a change, basic lang namin mag Q and A. So happy six months. Mm, happy six months. Happy half a year. <laughs> we are in Makan at Eliseos, our favorite date place. Why do we like it here? Really great food. Uh -oh. I'll see it when before you open it. You would let us taste the food. Shut up, Dali ni So food is good. Tay bye bye menu niya. Depende sa catch, depende ko ano yung in season, ano yung available, tsaka ano yung may experiment niya. So parang if you're in La Union and you're looking for a date place na medyo food tasting menu, we recommend this place. Okay, so we gathered questions uh, from Instagram, from YouTube, from IG stories, from friends, and we also prepared questions for each other. So, ang coverage niya is so wide from simple things to serious matters. Are you crazy? Uh, <laughs> from Jeremy Eduardi and Jay Grusgal. What have you discovered weird about each other? Thieves and quirks. And how do you adjust? Ah, inuulan yung manga. Tsaka <laughs> sagi. <laughs> yun, yun yung marang ha? And I think mangoes. It's made for dessert. Of course, I mean, uh, chef's wood. Pero pag tapo niya rin mangoes, nakaprogram na yung utak ko na, okay, pang dessert siya. Or quirk, or peeve. Ano yung napansin mo na, ay, naiiritay asawa ko doon? Sa akin eh, parang hindi mo nga hindi nagsasara ng pinto pag nakabukas yung aircon. <laughs> hindi ako yun, by the way, si Gami yun. Peeve mo. Ayaw mo nang iniinuman yung baso mo ng ibang tao, kahit kapamilya niya. Lalo na kung masebo yung uso nila. Actually, sa'yo wala. <laughs> Meron siyang paboritong ball pen. Yung kulay blue na pilot na di ganun. Na when he buys that, laging two at a time. Para may reserva siya. Sure siya mawawala. Gusto niya yun kasi daw madula sa papel. Ay, may peeve pala ako. Pinupulot niya sa hamper. Yung damit na graduate na dapat. Kasi for him, ang oh, workout ko lang naman eh. Sayang. Eh, sa akin damdam mo damit. Ano ba? Or babasain ko yung mga marurumi niyang damit. Para hindi niya napupulutin sa hamper. <laughs> Paano ko sinasabi sa kanila? Wala, minsan magpapabebe lang. Happy dirty na yung lobby! Hindi <laughs> naman kami nagkakainitan sa gano'n. Kiharu from YouTube also. What's the feeling of being married compared to in a relationship? Boyfriend-girlfriend? Kasi yung pag-boyfriend-girlfriend, they way out yun. So you, Correct. there's a tendency not to give everything, not to really fully commit. Mm, sarap! And you're... <laughs> sarap! Mm -hmm. At the back of your head, para iniisip mo na, oh, pag may isang trait na para hindi mo tayo, ngayon ko ng gayet ah. If you're married, you're not man forced, but you're obliged and you're com committed na eh. The question becomes, how can we work together and resolve this and maybe meet in the middle ground so that we will be teammates talaga? There was a time, I remember, parang we were going through a tough how many weeks. Tapos natawa ako, sabi ko sa kanya, galing ni Lord, no? Talagang pinalabas niya tong mga bagay na to, tong mga issues na to, ngayong kasal na tayo, para wala nang atrasan. <laughs> Kasi you will always have a way out. You can always tap up and say, bye, I don't like this, I don't mm. like you being like this, so bye. But in marriage, that's really not an option. 
sa atin kasi what makes it easier not to sound prideful is kumbaga we're still respectful towards each other we're still alam namin na inanoin to ni God eh. so we will suffer severe consequences <laughs> correct uh, I guess for us since both of us are deep into his word and guidance we know that even when we have conflict walang ganun na bawal yung magpakit ng salita bawal yung Yeah, physical harm. So always in a manner of respect. Yeah, yeah. tsaka wala rin tayong violent tendencies. Diba sabi ko nga, never nga ako nakasampal ng lalaki eh, kahit mga walang hiyan ng lalaki sa nakaraang ko. And that's also one of the things na I was careful of, I was wary about in in men. Na wala ba tong violent tendencies. Yung alam mong kahit di kayo nagkakaintindihan, di kayo mag-aaway, you're on the same team. You're always on the same side. Mm. You may not see each other eye to eye, pero hindi tayo magkalaban. May ganun na sense yung marriage. Pag boyfriend-girlfriend kasi, parang feeling mo pag nang kaway kayo, ina-attack ka yung pagkatao mo. Parang it's all about winning, preserving your pride, your victory, ganyan. But once you're married, hindi na siya yung winning eh. Or winning man, but winning yung dalawa over this issue, over this matter. Lara A, do you think it's really necessary to have a list of qualities you want for your future spouse when people can change over time? Good question. Good question. Ano yan? Para kang pag mag-grocery, di ba dapat may listahan ka para alam mo ano yung hinahanap mo. Although ako, kahit may listahan ako, iniikutan ko pa rin lahat. But it helps to know what you're looking for. So at least yun, yung mga essentials mo. Tawag ko dun mga non-negotiable. Dapat meron more. Kasi kung hindi, kung wala kang standards, ano, lahat na lang pwede. Lahat na lang may work around na. Hindi pwede na to. If there's a clear-cut purpose that you know God is laid down before you. I think it narrows down the kind of person that you want in that journey. Hindi yun palagi sure eh. I mean, God can change that. Ako na-realize ko with Vicky na yung mga interests, yung mga common shared interests, hobbies na similar to yours, sobrang secondary niya, if not tertiary. Hmm. Ang primary talaga, kung yung mga prinsipyo niyo sa buhay ay aligned. And where is the Lord in all that? So we'll have another episode on, on that. What do you appreciate most about each other? From Alejandro's Kitchen Diary. Thankful siya sa lahat. Kahit talaga uh, araw-araw daing nabangus sa ulam namin. <laughs> Oo. Oh, He's so thankful. Parang feeling ko, overskilled ako sa kusina sa kanya. Kasi simpleng togi at daing nabangus sa inyo. Oh. He still opens my door to this day. Hmm. Para akong senyora. Pag, oh. <laughs> paglalabas kami, lumabas na si Yach, lumabas na si Gami. Ako nandun pa rin ako. Kasi inihintay ko pagbuksan ako ng asawa ko. Not because nagpapakadol niya ako, but because he wants to be a person. Kahit mag-aaway kami. Kaya ba ako mag-isa ko? Sabi niya sa akin, Hey, I still want to open your door. Can you please let me open your door? Hmm. Ganda. Oh. Heart. Uh, you really want to serve the family. Typical mom to wife who would really serve and make sure everything is set. With gummy, with her school, the food, thoughtfulness, para making things easier. The Gayoso from YouTube, what's your take on LDR married couples? Kung kunyari, tanggalin natin yung, oh, what does the Bible say? Pero you as a man, personally, mm. would you be okay with that or not and why? If you have a wife, you would like to be intimate with your wife, di ba? Uh, Paano pag wala? Paano pag wala? Temptation. Oh, um, not saying all would succumb to that, but that makes it difficult talaga. Not saying the Lord can't work. I'm not saying it's not possible no. to, to be faithful to your marriage na be in an area. But more than that, more than the intimacy issue, it's the goal of the marriage. Oh, it's hard. Eh. Siguro kung may long distance, give it a timetable, how long, ano ba talaga. Hindi yung forever ganun. May hirap. Eh. Six months pa na kami, so can't really speak with authority. Okay. Personally, ayoko. Even traveling uh, without me, I'm also not so comfortable. And he also prefers that I go with him. Dahil hindi mo rin talaga masabi yung temptation. Heart Besolado, what are things you want your viewers, especially youth, and planning to get married to learn about your experiences? Sin has consequences. Pursue purity talaga. Pursue, give your time to the Lord talaga. Lord's work, gather skills, practical skills also, that you can maximize capital. If you really can, please keep your purity, pursue purity, because yung sexual sins talaga natin or immorality really have consequences, and you don't know when they show up, what pain it will cause you and your spouse. Charissa May, Custodio, paano parenting styles nyo ni Mickey? 
<laughs> sino good cup, bad cup? Oh, sino good cup, bad cup? Hindi, hindi kami naniniwala sa good cup, bad cup. Siya yung mas lenient. Oh. Sige, hiyawag ko gano'n. Baka maramdaman niya masugatan. Oh. Sige. Kasi, well, depends rin on the kind of learning. Of course, parenting is really preparing them for the life that they will have. Joy Contreras from YouTube. First away or di pagkakaintindihan as husband and wife? Nag one month kami, hindi pa kami nag-aaway. Tapos parang kami, Oh, Lord, Jay, thank you. Dumami. Tapos, ayun na, isa isa na lumabas. But I, I don't remember this specifically. Alam mo, blessing din yun, Nico. Kasi kahit anong pag-awayan yung mag-asawa, I'm not saying it's for all, but based on our experience, kahit ang sakit-sakit, ang mm. sakit-sakit. Ah, ako, I forget. Mm. Parang, as to the specifics, I don't remember so much what we fought. Yeah. over. But the Lord allows us to remember what we learn from those. Here's Cha. How do you talk things through? Like bad habits that need to be stopped or a particular circumstance that happened that needs to be processed with your husband who's not very confrontational and would often choose to keep quiet and move forward. If your husband is already a follower of Christ who loves God, who loves His Word, spending time with God, on a daily basis and in prayer, then you are sure that the Lord will speak to him in his heart. If the guy is humble before the Lord, the Lord will use his word in the prayer to speak to him about the things that he needs to do, needs, needs to change. So that's the confidence you have in someone who fears the Lord and who seeks the Lord. But if the person isn't doing those things, then you wish that he is really self-aware of his mistakes, self-aware of his bad habits. But my pride, niya alam. Then I think, as a wife, you need to assure that you are a safe place that he can open up. And on your end, you need to lift it up to God. There's a time, mm. di pa kami kasal, na I sense he's that type of person to respond to conflict. Hindi siya yung confrontational. He would rather walk away for a while, leave the scene, and lakad-lakad muna, ganyan. Ako naman, initially, parang, hindi. Hindi pwede sa akin yung may paalis-alis, ganyan, and all. But, you know, in marriage, I learned that I also need to respect where my husband is and how he is. Of course, I would prefer na he will talk to me, talk to me na lang, always resolve things with me right away. Pero because, like what my husband say, I know he's a follower of Jesus and he seeks the Lord every day. Confident ako na the Lord will speak to him. So if there's something na I want to confront him about, I can be so sure na if it's a valid issue, that God himself will confront him. Actually, there have been moments of victory na I didn't even verbalize because si God na yung nagsabi. Tapos siya na yung mag-open up na topic na yun. But if your husband is that type na not confrontational, oh. you assure him that you are a safe place, that he can really open up to you, that he won't be judged. I wasn't like that before, no love? <laughs> I wasn't like that before. At the same time, you continue to be kind to your husband. You continue to open up kindly, but keep praying for him. Now, Lord, please open up my husband's heart to settle this matter with me, or at least discuss. Naniniwala ako na walang bagay na hindi nadadaan sa usap, lalo na kung dadaanin natin sa dasal sa Panginoon. Sleepyhead on YouTube. I am curious, why did you have two weddings on the same day? We want all our family. And there's a specific venue. 50 lang ang max. Oo. Ang dami na namin. Ang isang option kasi, may small wedding. Yung talagang wala kami ng guest. Talagang immediate family lang. Tapos big wedding na lang pag nag-relax. For some, I guess it worked. Pero para sa akin, para tapos na. Grabe, tinapos mo na lang. And we really wanted to be with the closest people. It just ha- so happened na. Hindi namin sila ma-reduce to the number of people allowed lang. So, we just conducted two full ceremonies. Jenna Umaga, nung una mo nakita si Sir Mickey, may spark ba kagad? Hindi ko siya talaga tinitingnan kasi baka isipin niya nga type ko siya. So, pa-hapiyaw-hapiyaw lang. Parang hindi niya ako nag-eye contact eh. Kasi siya yun lang. Pero, ang striking for me yung mata niya. Sobrang dami niya smiling lines. Doon ako kinilig, parang ang smiling face naman nito kahit na covered ng mask. Parang it's just his aura. Parang ang gaan niya, ang aliwalas niya. Such a jolly person. James said, Harleen, what makes Mickey and Bettina kilig? Saan ka kinikilig sa akin? Pag minamasahe mo ako. Kinikilig ka? Oo, oh, 
kasi kaya ako hindi lang ako kaligid. Oh. Dala ko lang joke ko lang joke. Kasi bihira mo lang mo sa iya. <laughs> your notes. Yeah, your letters. Really? Talaga? Kaya kikilig ka? Yeah. Kasi sulat ako ito. Kaya pinaparad mo ako ka ba nagsasurf? Yeah. Kikilig ka? Uh, Feeling mo gumagaling ka? <laughs> ako <laughs> ano? Pag hinahug niya ako from behind. Feeling ko ang petit petit ko. Petit petit. <laughs> Pag bigla ko lang tayo may kasitingin ka sa akin. Tapos sasabihin mo, Nikki Eduardo po. <laughs> so, may plano po ba kayo magkaanak? How to overcome jealousy? Ano ginagawa nyo when you need to forgive? How do you manage each other's flaws and imperfections? Also the past mistakes. Who handled the finances? May plan to continue your bakery business there? Ano pong ginagawa ni Sir Mickey kapag tinotopa ka? Topa ka ba? <laughs> Sinasapian niya. <laughs> How sexy time? Okay! Siyempre! Story of your wedding night, please. 